And the two men saw Rasulullah and the dialogue between them was هذا اليماني meaning this is the man from Yemeni, there's an explanation of why this refers to the Prophet. The point being, long story short, they knew exactly who he was. Which meant they knew exactly what he was worth if he was captured or killed. And remember, these were criminals. So it wasn't just that Rasulullah was wasting his time on these two criminals when he should just be trying to get to safety, but he was risking his life to save the souls of these two bandits. And so he approached them before they went out to find him. And this was the first time that this had ever happened to them, where someone wanted to meet them. And he approached them and they were so taken aback by the fact that he was coming to them. And he, he asked them, what are your names? Approach them as humans as human beings, as fellow human beings. And they said, we are the humiliated. They didn't even have individual names. And he said to them, no, you are the noble. And he started to speak to them about Islam and their human dignity and their relationship with the one and only true God. And they embraced Islam. And then he said to them, come with me, we're going all together to Medina. They joined him and went with him to Medina. So what do we call people who met the Prophet والسلام, shook his hand and spent time with him? We call them Sahaba. This story has so many lessons for us as leaders that no one is not worth our time. No one is beyond redemption. And that seeing the humanity in people, that every saint has a past and every sinner has a future, because that's what our leader, our role model did. And when you do that, you, you transform people.